today I'm finally gonna be showing you my makeup collection slash vanity tour because I have this giveaway and um, one of the rules is that you have to ask me for you have to give me a video suggestions and a lot of you guys asked me for a makeup collection and actually a girl asked me this before and I said that, that I was going to do this when I reached the point of 600 subscribers and this happened weeks ago so um, yes guys as you can tell I'm a wizard I totally forgot to tell you guys about these if you follow my Instagram you probably already saw me <laughs> wearing these these are the Bellamy extensions I saw Nicole Guerrero um, I don't know how to pronounce her name, so if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I saw her um, talking about these and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cool. And I always wanted hair extensions because I got so mad when the lady in Portugal caught my hair. So I got these and I love the way they blend, I love the way they look. Um, and if you want me to um, make a video where I'm just in which I'm just talking about my extensions, let me know because this video will probably be too long and I will try to keep it short so let's get started guys I hope you enjoy so right here I have this little furniture it is white and in here um, I keep my face products and up here I have this perfume I actually don't keep the perfume right here but this is like my favorite perfume at the moment so reason why I keep it here and this pink it smells like strawberries it's like candy in a bottle so yeah, right here in this little box, I keep like all of my bronzers and this one is actually a new one. I thought that I was going to show you a few of my new products so I don't have to make a whole video. These are the Me and My Ice Cream by Essence Collection Shimmer Pearls, How, however you pronounce it. And they look like this. They're super cute and these are actually my first shimmer pearls ever. So yeah, I'm here to keep my bronzers and my blushes. You gotta go. In the second drawer, I keep my foundations. This one is a new foundation and this is by Clinique and this the anti blemish solution look at makeup and I love this it feels like you're not wearing makeup and I'm so sorry about my makeup today I know it looks super ugly because I went to school today and let us not talk about it <laughs> so yeah I do keep like all of my powders eyebrow palette foundation concealer all of these things are right in here and as you can tell I don't have foundation as other girls have but I think that's better because I want to finish my products before I buy like a new foundation because foundation is something I keep I it, it lasts like forever <laughs> so this one I got from a beauty bag um it was in a beauty bag for Christmas and this is the miracle foundation whatever from Luca and it is in this little mini bottle so yeah, this is where I keep like, all of my um, foundation, slash BB cream, slash powder, slash concealer, everything, like liquid um, face products. In the third drawer, I keep weird things, guys. So I do keep like all of my stretch marks product, none of that really helped me. This one was so expensive guys and I'm not lying to you because I don't want you to spend like a lot of money and it won't help. So the only thing that I think helps against stretch marks is you have to drink a lot and you have to um, go and sweat, go and walk, move your body. That's what helps. And I... nothing helped me. You just have to wait. It will be white in a while so if your scratch mark is like red go to the dermatologist if you want something professional but these products they don't really help they help you not to get more because that's what they're actually that's what they're actually meant for so and this one smells absolutely good 
This is one is by Dolita. It is a pregnancy, um, whatever, oil. And yeah, that's where I keep like all of my stretch marks products. This one is for when you have paint somewhere. And in here it also has this little mirror. I don't know why this is in here, but yeah. Guys, I apologize if my room is like dark. I open like all of my windows and my room is so dark. I try to explain this all the time to my dad that I want a new lamp, but he's just like too lazy. So now let's go to the fourth jar. So this. I told you guys this was also going to be a vanity tour and in here I did like all of my butterfly clips and auto clips and this is actually where the mirror was supposed to be because in here the all the like auto mirrors this one is from Sydney Australia and my ex neighbor ex because she does not live there anymore she gave me this and other mirrors and a little thing to clean my glasses here to this little baby here. Here I do keep all of my eye products, not really. I do just keep like my mascaras and um, eye pencils and eyeliners and curler and a lot more mascaras. I don't have like a lot. So really if you want me to do like a mascara collection or any other collection just tell me because this video will be just too long if I would show like everything so let me show you like my two new mascaras um, which I really really like this one is a new one by the way I was thinking about doing a first impression video and this is also the reason why this is still in the package so just to make sure it is a first impression and I'm not lying to you and if I don't like a product guys I will tell you because that's how I am, I'm honest. So here are two of my new mascaras. This one is by um, L'Oreal. It is a volume million lashes excess mascara. And as you can probably tell, no, you probably can't. Um, this is my first, first, I tried one for uh, I tried one out from my mother, but you know, it's not mine. So this one is my first L'Oreal mascara and I love it. I love the brush. I love plastic brushes because they give you such an amazing blend. And this one, I saw so many gurus talking about this and this is the set in black one by one. Well, you mascara and it looks like this and it feels like you're wearing silk on your lashes which is super amazing and I'm wearing it today and it gives you such an amazing volume you don't need to apply like two different mascaras I just apply two coats of this mascara and it looks awesome now let's go to this big drawer this is where I keep like all of my eyeshadow palettes eyeshadows and random things and the eyeshadow palettes, I'll show you a few of them. I do have like this Kiko right here, my Naked, this absolute nude one from Catrice, a lot of Essa Loaders, and uh, yeah, just too many palettes, guys. And I love this one, by the way, it, because it is small and it has like all of the new colors for a barely naked look. So if you want to see a barely naked makeup tutorial, let me know. In here I do have like all of my eyeshadows. Here I do also have a palette. But yeah, it is like small so I just decided to keep this in here. And this one is new. I haven't opened it yet. And it is by Maybelline, the Pink Passion little eye studio eyeshadow and I do have like a lot and lot of eyeshadows they're like not in an order I tried to keep them in an order but it just didn't work so I was like you know what I'm gonna show you them the way I really am because I'm not gonna lie to you like I'm a super organized person because I'm actually not so yeah here is the place oh and these are the two um, color tattoos that I own and this one is by Maybelline um, the Muff Crush, I can't pronounce it and it's like a silver blue color and this one was my first color tattoo and this is the um, pink gold one and it looks like this 
it's an amazing eye product. In here I do have my random things like makeup, um, like cosmetic towels and this little cute Hello Kitty thing which actually belongs to my sister and my boyfriend bought it for her. Oh, now let's go to this little drawer. Oh, and by the way, this is my Gulon eyeshadow palette. I got this for Christmas from a friend and I love this. It is amazing, guys. This little, so here's this little drawer which was, I was about to show you guys and here I do keep like all of my hairbands and ties. This one is from Forever 21 and like little brushes. I don't know what this is in here but it is like dirty and gross and it's raining if you can hear it. I apologize. I don't want to record this video again because guys, no. Here to keep my makeup brushes. I do have like MAC, Catrice, Essence, Kiko and all these brands. I do keep this in this little glass container which I filled with these little rocks. It was probably a bad idea because it does like destroy all the end of my brushes so I do not recommend to do this but anyway. So right here I do have a little Hello Kitty mirror and it is super adorable. My mother got me this from Claire's. Then I do have this little box which my mother made when she was at the hospital because she had an accident. So yeah, I do keep like this little technique cream eyeshadow things which I never use actually to be honest. And she wrote my name if you can read it. It says Lela. That's the way she called me when I was little and I think it's super cute and it has like butterflies and this one is an apple and it is a lip gloss which has also a little mirror. It smells so good. Let me smell it. I have to smell it. Yeah, it's, it smells really good. I do love it, but I don't use it because I forget to use it, which is super stupid. I here to keep like two of my argan oil from Morocco, whatever, Moroccan oil things. This one is actually empty, but I know, you know, I actually empty, but I kept it because it was so expensive. I paid 40 francs for this little mini bottle, which is ridiculous, and it smells so amazing. I love the way Moroccan oil smells. And I do recommend for all of you guys to buy a bottle of Moroccan oil because it is totally worth it. It will change your hair, and it is amazing. This one is by Lee Stafford, and I do really, really like it. In here to keep like random little things like, um, Okay, it's really random guys, don't judge me. Little earrings thing from the magazine. Eyelashes, I hate. <laughs> I hate these eyelashes, they're so bad. I just can't work with eyelashes. Then this little hair clippy thing from my mother actually. Like little makeup containers if I do like want to mix something. These ones are from Essence, Keycaps, Band-Aid, Lamps. All these things. A corner, I to keep like all of my hair ties, and I love these ones. These are from these ones are from H and M. They're like little bows. So if you don't want to like wear a big bow, which I actually keep like here, um, on the right corner, but I have them in my purse right now because I wore it to school and then I had to take it off because um, we were doing a musical, so I just... I know it, you can definitely say the name. So yeah, we're doing the musical Grease, if you're wondering. And I play Betty Rizzo, if you know her. <laughs> if you know her. <laughs> so yeah, these are the cutest hair ties ever, and I have a lot of more, and... Oh my gosh, guys, this is the little box which I try to keep organized, but I really can't. So, right here, oh my gosh, can you can tell. This wasn't me, this was my mom. She put like a few of my hair ties right there. But, mom, that's not how you So, right here, you have like these little random clips which are ugly and gross and oh my gosh. <laughs> and butterflies. These ones are actually really, really cute, but I just don't know how to wear them. And like little butterfly, mini sized butterfly clips. 
and yeah. Here I do have like all of my bobby pins, not actually all of them because most of them are in the bathroom in a little jar which my mother took because she knows how I lose my bobby pins and I always have to buy new ones. And here I have like other clips, um, yeah most of them are from Clears and H&M. And in here is like the messy part, I do have like my little flowers and headbands and butterfly clips and just everything, I just don't really know where to or where to keep them so yeah this is a little lucky lucky ladybug I got from a zoo and these are my two Marilyn Monroe lip balms which a friend gave me for my birthday this one smells like well it is supposed to smell like peach but I think it smells like something different but it smells really really good and this one is um, the strawberry one and it does smell like strawberry, guys. It does. And yeah, Marilyn Monroe, I love her so much. I actually was about to buy these and that she got me them last year. So right here I have like all of my um, daily products I like to use. This one, this is my Rock Oil Shine Spray and I do really really like this. It is amazing. Then I do have a deodorant by Dukstas and it is the pink kiss one and it does smell like 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 something sweet and fruity. I can't describe it. I do have my Hollister body spray and this smells so good guys. You have to go and smell it and I can't describe the way it smells. It just smells so amazing. Here's the place where I keep all of my perfumes. So it would just like too long to talk about all of my perfumes. I will introduce you my two favorites or the two that I'm like using like crazy. So the first one you have already seen it. It is like right there and it's the strawberry one. And then I also have been using the Pink Sugar Sparkles one, which smells so good, guys. As you can tell, it is like right here. And oh my gosh, it is so sweet. If you're looking for a sweet perfume, go and, and check out the Pink Sugar line. And you also have the essential one. But I like the Sparkles better. I actually want to get like the normal one, which has like a pink white um, package, but it just so yeah. Here in the first drawer I do keep my lip products and here I do have like all of my lipsticks slash um, lip balms and yeah if you want to see a collection just let me know and I'll show you and yes in here are the lipsticks then in here I have my glosses and auto balms with which just because some of them just didn't fit there anymore so I decided to keep them in here um, let me show you a new one this one is the Revlon which I'm like wearing right now um, lip butter, stay butter, lip color color balm and shine it is a color balm and shine lip product and these ones are my two new favorites these are by me and my ice cream and this one smells like grape, and this one smells also like a type of ice cream. It smells like, I don't know. I don't know what, what this is supposed to smell like, but I like this one a lot better. Because this one is like sweeter, and it does really smell like grape. So I do have my um, shaver caps. These ones are by Gillette, Venus, and LA. And then I do have a close BB cream because mine is like almost empty so I decided to get a new bottle of this and I do also have this Labello SPF 30 lip box. So now let's go to the next drawer and right here it is like so messy. I have a hairbrush and some hair. My gosh. And some headbands. You guys told me this, these are called headbands, so don't judge me. And right here, you have like all of my hand creams. This one is so amazing. This is the hand butter honey one from I Am. I love like the I Am hand products. They're so good. And these fruitini ones. I do actually have only one fruitini hand cream, but it's like almost empty. So I do really love these and the Alessandro and 
some of my essence ones which are so amazing so yeah so right here I do have like all of my body lotions and body butters and things and this is like a body lotion spray from Fatini it does smell like passion fruit and oh bye so yeah I do love this one it smells so good and this one is one I got recently and this is by Envio body lotion it is supposed to smell like um, raspberries and lychee I don't know if you call lychee the same way we do so it is it is or was a limited edition, I don't know anymore, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. It, I love this, but it feels like a conditioner. I don't know what I have about this thing here, but it is really, really good. Then, yeah, here are all of my body lotion. I actually got this one also recently. This reminds me of Christmas because I was wearing this a lot when it was Christmas time in winter. So, it does smell it is it smells like it is supposed to be warm and I don't know oh guys the next one is kind of a problem it is don't judge me it is something that's actually a big problem my mother does always judge me so it is my nail polish collection and I do have so many nail polishes so right here are all of my nail products and if you're wondering what's the little bag right here it is a surprise it is actually a giveaway so let's just put this right there and here I have like all of my nail care things and yeah my things that I need for my nails. I right in here they have like, oh my gosh, my I just realized my trousers are dirty, but whatever. So in here I do keep my Bellamy hair extensions. These are like a few baby clips, but yeah. Let me show you. They're so amazing. I love the quality of these. They're shiny and pretty. And yeah, that's where I keep them. You do all to get a tester, like right here in this little bag when you buy them. So if you're wondering, that's why it has like two parts. And I decided to keep this little guide right here because it tells me how do you keep my extensions healthy and right here I have like all of my expensive looking boxes these are these one is by Thomas Sabo and in here they have my bracelet from Thomas Sabo and I love like when it has like a little charm on it so there are like not too many but only one in here to have all my body sprays my favorite right now is this one. This one is the is the Body Shop Strawberry Body Mist. I do love this. It does smell like strawberry. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. It does smell amazing. So yeah, I do have it all over here. This one is yellow because it dried. Guys, don't worry. This is not like pee or something. It's from the tower itself. So yeah. This one is my little Lush um, bath thing. It does. It looks and smells like a marshmallow. And it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I wish you could smell it. But you can't. So right here, I actually wanted to make a separate video. But I'm just going to put this right in here. Here's my little cancel bag. I got this from a family friend thing. Fa thing? What? No, a family friend. So in here is the Prada Candy Body Lotion. A Thomas Eva Charm, which is a little dog. I do also have a Dolce Cabana um, lipstick. So this is what the lipstick looks like, and it is like a nude color, and it has a really, it has a pretty diamond right there, and it is a nude color, guys. I know you, you, are, you maybe now are like, oh my gosh, why do you have a nude lipstick? But I think it's really pretty. You can wear it as like a nude makeup look and it is called nude if you're wondering the shade is 15 nude so yeah then I do also have the cute Moschino um, body lotion and shower gel things and they smell amazing the L'Oreal Isav oil example I do actually have the full size I love this so I will keep this in my purse bro. one is the um, Trusardi treasure no, not treasure. 
Too sorry, I'm delicate for this perfume example. I don't know how it smells, but I'll try it out. I have a nail filer, and this one is by Mevola Switzerland, and I want to take it out. But I love Mevola products because they're amazing. Then I do have a Thierry Mugler. I don't know if these are like supposed to be his perfumes. Like the, this reminds me of kind of like the alien perfume. I'm not really sure. I don't know about him, but and his perfumes. But yeah, this is like a pretty bracelet. Then I do also have the Moschino pink um, perfume, and I can't open it, so I just open it, and it smells like something sweet, but still, I don't know. It's not my type of perfume. I do like it more as a shower gel and body lotion right there and then I do have like this pink by Victoria's Secret body glitter spray I do actually have to shake it so yeah it looks like this and it smells really really good and in this little jar I made myself so if you want to know how to make them go and oh my gosh it just fell down go and check out my Mother's Day DIY video and yeah so I do keep like all of my little examples right in here. I do have my the Body Shop Mango Oil and a product which is the Kiko Anti Cell one. I just decided to go to put this in here because the little spray thing didn't work from the other bottle. So I was like, no, what? Ain't nobody got time for that. So in here I do keep like all of my lenses and these are hair colored in brown. I never use them because I don't know. These are from Sias, the sweet brunette ones. And I bought these when I had red hair because I always want to get it brown. And yeah. So in here, I do keep all of my lenses also. And sunscreens. And, and sun creams. This one is by Pete's Bunny. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys, but. And. I do have like makeup towels and the little little mouse. So well, guys, I know this video was probably so long, but and I apologize, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. And give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more fashion and beauty and fun videos. And I'll see you soon and I'll be in Las Vegas in like how many days? Okay. Three weeks. What? Aha! Maybe you should. How many days? He's my little seat. He has like an app. Can you see it? My boyfriend. As you saw. Okay. How many days? Ten. ten. Okay, I'll be in Las Vegas in California in ten days. So if you see me, don't be afraid to say hi. I know it sounds weird, but you never know who's there. So guys, if you, I feel so weird with this hair, but I do really, really love it. So I was like, anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys this hair, and I, I, it's so different for me. Like I always had short hair, so not always. I used to have long hair, but. It's just like not my hair so I don't know so yeah guys I'll be there and I'll make a few videos there too don't worry I'll be uplo uploading new videos so keep your eyes open and I just can't rhyme so bye guys I love you